What is up everyone? For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Brianna. I am from the States and I'm currently traveling solo and backpacking Central America. And I got to Guatemala two days ago. And today we're going to do the Asatanego hike and I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I got my food, my jacket, and my bag. Let's go. I'm carrying the world on my back right now. Yeah. See, you, Brianna. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Here's the shuttle. You per person, four liters of water, three are for drinking and one for cooking, extra snacks, sunscreen, toilet paper, and warm clothes. These are some enormous buildings. Oh my gosh. 3,768 meters. Okay, chicos. Buenos días. And now we begin our hike. This is challenging. <laughs> the rain came out. Now it's time to put on the poncho. <laughs> I'm starting to regret this. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I thought I could do this. It's cold, but yeah, I'm sweating and hot, and it's just raining. It's everything's wet. <laughs> This San Diego girl is not used to this. It's been three hours now and we have two more hours to go. It's kind of weird because sometimes it'll get really hot and then sometimes it'll start raining so you put on your jacket and the raincoat and then it gets hot again so they have to take off your raincoat and your jacket and then it gets cold so they have to put your jacket on like i just don't know what what is going to be what but i love the rocks right here and the mountains and it's just straight uphill like it's pretty intense but i'm gonna make it up slow and steady slow and steady and i got my little buddy here with me Hi, baby. You hiked up the entire mountain with us. Taking a little break. We're taking a break. I think that is next. That looks horrible. Here we go. This looks so wild. The fog is moving in on us fast. Here's our cabin. The mess. Ew. So we carried our water up and we carried our cup of noodle soup. I'm about to give him my cup of noodle soup that I carried and my liter. Nothing like a cup of noodle when it's freezing cold. And it's freezing here. I literally have all my layers on right now. But the view of the sunset, and we've already seen the volcano erupt twice already. It was successful. <laughs>
Salad, you guys. 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 Salad, you We were having our hot chocolate and marshmallows when it started raining. So there's rain outside, thunder, and the volcano is going off. It's freezing. I have all my layers on. I hope I survive. I'll see you guys in the morning. I just want to go home. I want to be on the beach, warm, in my bikini. Okay, guys. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Only Let's go. Oh, Let's finish it. Okay, guys. Please, guys, no separation of the group. Okay. Now we are going back to camp because we're going to have breakfast and some nice coffee. This was definitely challenging. Um, some people that woke up uh, decided to go back and they didn't make it. So it's challenging, you guys. It gets cold up here, rainy, wet. <sighs> yeah, but it's definitely beautiful and worth it. The volcano smoking. We made it back to camp. Our tour guys have been amazing. It's because of them that we're still alive. <laughs> I've made it back to the campsite. I'm I'm feeling sick now. Um, it was definitely worth it. It was beautiful at the top, but it was a challenging hike. I've never done anything like that before. My knees right now um, are a little bit in pain just from all the stairs going down and i just cannot wait to take a shower and eat a cheeseburger and some french fries <laughs> i'm gonna take a nap now final words from hiking volcano Asatenango is it is a challenging hike. You get wet, you get hot, you get sweaty, you have to carry everything up. So make sure that you bring a good backpack that has the straps around the waist. And I would say that even though it was my first time hiking something to that extent, I truly enjoyed it because the view at the top was completely worth it. Let's go.